What's up dudes? My name is Nick. Welcome back for another music video reaction. We're taking a late look at the song Shall We Dance, which is of course a brand new one from Block B. Still working on catching up with stuff that I missed because I'm trying to figure out how to work my life from my work schedule once again. So that is the reason why this is a little bit later than it would be otherwise. So, um, you know, but I don't really necessarily have anything to say about Block B as far as like to, to set the tone for this uh, other aside from what I've said in, in the past, which is I like Block B because they're spectacular performers and they do a really good job. They just throw down with the performance aspect of the music videos and their songs. So we're going to see what they what, what they're bringing with this one in this reaction video. So I'm going to do what I do in my videos and I'm going to give you guys my honest first impression thoughts and opinions on it, whether I like it or not. So if that is something that is interesting to you, then please do consider clicking on the subscribe button down below. So with all that out of the way, let's get this song started. You know, I thought I thought for like I think a whole a full five seconds we were gonna go with some like old school hip hop sound. But we're not, so that's okay. That'd have been really cool if they did though. Oh, it's, I like this. Okay, this is definitely. This is this is a fun song. What is that hair, dude? Jesus, it's like um, nice, nice. That's like that's like a legit mullet right there. But I did, I like this. I don't know how to describe. I don't know how to like describe what the like what the genre or you know what the like influence is to this. But I'm definitely enjoying it. It's nice. It it fits the title of the song so good too. It's like it's good. I, I dig it. I guess is there is there like a little bit of is there like a little bit of trap in this trap influence in this song potentially okay so they're just gonna like dial it down for that for the little outro bit and then they're gonna ramp it up I can I can I can get behind that too that's cool Okay, Block B, I see, I, all right. So, obviously, right, as, as as I listen to this, as you guys listen to it and watch this music video, um, the, the the thing that, I suppose, it doesn't necessarily stand out to me because it's been something that's the kind of the d general direction that Block B's gone with a lot of their music over the last year or two. But when I, when I first heard Block B and when I first got into Block B, back when I like first got into K-pop around that time, um, the the thing that I really really liked about the group was how they how like in your face their music videos were and their their songs were and they were just like they were just out to just attack you basically and you know they did a really really good job of 
you know, doing stuff that was very, very interesting as far as the performance aspect of the music video and also the music itself. It's really, really, you know, fun music to listen to, really, really awesome personality and persona that comes through the both the song and the music video. And all of it's like super, super high energy and like aggressive, I suppose. Um, what they've kind of started doing, though, of course, is, is is dialing that energy and that aggressiveness back to do something that's a little, to do stuff more, I suppose, nuanced is the right word, to, to you know, kind of, kind of, like, dial that energy back and dial all, all of that aggressiveness back so that they can, like, so, so that their music can be a little bit more complex sounding and feeling and just, you know, there's, there's more depth to the songs. I think I've already, I, I think I said something like similar to this about a song that was released within the last couple of weeks, um, which is, is definitely cool. You know, Block B, they, they've got their whole performance and their persona and they've built up their audience. So they're not going anywhere. 100%. They're not going to go anywhere. Um, and I guess at this point, because they're going for stuff that's not necessarily going to be the most attention grabbing, that it might be safe to say that the that the group has kind of peaked and they're just, you know, going with the flow, doing with doing whatever it is that they want to do, releasing some fun and interesting music. And this is, of course, the latest example of something that is a little bit as I suppose in the context of cape of K-pop as an entire genre of music is something that is a little bit more uh, experimental. I suppose it's something that is very much different and outside the box, which is which is always 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 something that I definitely appreciate. Um, the the thing that I'm really really enjoying about this song, aside from the fact that it's com- something completely different that we have not heard in at all this year, to my knowledge. Um, well, not to my knowledge. I know for a fact that this has not necessarily been something a sound or a feel to music that's been felt in 2017 so far or heard in 2017. But this song is like, the, of course, the title of the song is "Shall We Dance," and the entire song from the very first second to the final second, the just the, the the instrumentation and the composition and the the structure of the song it fits that title 100 percent exactly all the way through the song like if, if there was somebody who had the you know ability to dance they could listen to the song and they could like th- there would be you know not a single part in the song that they would not easily be able to come up with something to you know um but then again, if you if you're if you're like a dancer and that's what you do, then you could dance to any song to a certain extent, right? But this song is just like I I, I could I could just feel it. I could actually like feel it like, you know, in my body and you know, I could I could feel the beat, I could feel the flow, I could feel the rhythm of the song. And that's something that's awesome, you know, that's really, really good. It's it's not this is that quality in the music is not necessarily something that, that gets felt a lot in in k-pop there's it's definitely you know there are songs that kind of you know bring that to the you know bring that quality to their music or groups that bring that quality to the music but you know just generally speaking you know k-pop music or pop music isn't necessarily uh aimed at putting out some interesting you know beat patterns and structure like that to kind of for, for people to kind of hear and potentially feel to motivate them to dance whereas you know most pop music is just uh, if I'm going to say that it's just sound, that sounds bad, but it really is just like, you know, noise without a whole lot of, you know, to a certain extent, like to, without a whole lot of thought to it, if that makes any sense. Not to say that that's like, that's not a criticism, you know, that it is just the quality of pop music, but that doesn't mean that I'm not, I'm not saying that it's not something that is thought out and stuff. Cause there's stuff that definitely has some very good, um, high qualities to it but this is a completely different kind of you know feel and sound than what you would normally get with a with a k-pop song which is good and that's the kind of direct the direction that block b's been going towards over the last couple of years you know they they they've gone through their just releasing pop music stuff they've built up their fan base they're fairly popular they're not like you know at the top of the game but they're definitely a very very well known and recognized name and now they're they've got the opportunity to do whatever they want to do and they're doing stuff that is definitely you know outside the outside of the box when it comes to k-pop as a whole this is another kind of example of that and i you know absolutely enjoy that so that's all I got to say about this uh, about this about this song. 
I don't have a question for you guys today, so I'm just going to remind you, as always, to leave your thoughts and comments on this song and Block B in general down in the comment box below. Share whatever you liked about this song. Share whatever you did not like about this song. You know, all of those opinions are something that I personally would like to hear, and I'm sure some other members of this community would like to hear as well. Regardless of whoever wants to hear it, if, if people want to hear it or not, the community that we're trying to build here is all about having some free and open discussion about our thoughts and opinions, no matter what they are. So if that is the community that you are interested in becoming a part of, then please do consider clicking on the subscribe button down below. So that is going to be it for this video. As always, I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time.